to talk about working yarn overs. Um, it looks a little different depending on what two stitches you're working. So you can see here I've got a series of purl and knit stitches and I'm going to show you how to work a yarn over between each of those different stitches because it looks a little different on the needles. The first thing to remember when you're working a yarn over is that you will wrap it around the needle the same way as though you were working a stitch. So in this case, you can see I'm just going to purl the first stitch and the yarn goes all the way around the, excuse me, around the needle like this. And so if you were doing a yarn over, a standard yarn over, that's the way you're going to wrap the yarn around the needle. So in this case, it's just a purl stitch. Now, if I want to put a yarn over in between those two, I'm going to wrap the yarn around the needle as though I was going to knit a stitch, but I'm not knitting anything, just wrapping the yarn and then I go ahead and purl the next one. And you can see that you have got that yarn over between the needles. Now, if you wrap it the other way, what you're doing is you're creating a backwards yarn over, which you can, if you want, on the next row correct, but it is going to be smaller than this standard yarn over. Now, I'm going from a purl stitch to a knit stitch. Normally, you just bring the yarn back and you go and work it. But in this case, what I'm actually going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and knit the stitch. And you can actually see here that because I left the yarn in front, it's actually creating that yarn over for me between those two stitches. So if you're going from a purl to a knit stitch and you want a yarn over, just leave the yarn in front. And when you knit the next stitch, it's going to create that yarn over. Now we've got two knit stitches our yarns in the back. So we're going to bring the yarn around the needle like this. And you can see that you've created a yarn over in between them. Now the final one is going to be from a knit to a purl. Obviously you want your yarn in front for this. So in order to create that, you go like this, first of all, and then if you go and knit the stitch or purl the stitch, you're not going to have a yarn over. So you have to bring it around one more time so that your yarn is in the right place and you've also created your yarn over. So that one is the only one where there's really kind of an extra job, so to speak, because you bring the yarn in front because you're going from a knit to a purl, but then you have to bring it around the needle again. So those are the four different type of yarn overs and you can see them sitting on your needles like this. As you can probably imagine, this one going from a knit to a purl is going to create a slightly larger hole because you've actually wrapped the yarn a little bit further over it. So just be aware of that when you're working it. Um, you could bring the yarn around the other way on that one if it was bothering you and the, you, you felt that this it was kind of causing a problem in the work with one of them being bigger. But otherwise, just fine as is. Mm -hmm.